What's up everyone? So today we are starting a new series called Lua Snip. That's about Lua Snip NeoBeam plugin. That's a snippet engine. Instead of trying to explain what it is, let me just show you what it can do. Alright, so I have character F here, and if I hit Control I, that's the expand key bind I have set, and F is a trigger character that I have set uh, in Lua Snip. And when I do, it's going to generate a function including a variable declaration. Now, that's something really, really common. Even in VS Code, you can do that. That's pretty common. But um, let's say I have a class and I'm going to call it test, like so. Now, the context has been changed. If I create a variable declaration and a an arrow function that's going to be an invalid JavaScript. However, if I do the same thing, exact same thing, I have the character F, I'm gonna hit Control I, but it's generating a method instead of an arrow function. So that's the beauty of Lua Snip, and this includes power of um, FreeSet as well. We are going to look into that in advanced level of Lua Snip, but for now. Um, I only want to show you the capabilities of this snippet plugin. Alright, so once again, I'm inside a method. Context has been changed. Now, what if I do Control I here? Well, once again, it's generating a uh, arrow function with a variable declaration. Well, let's say I have a variable declared already. Const test equal. What if I do um, Control I here? As you would expect, it generates just the arrow function without the uh, variable declaration. So that's how how it changes the um, you know the the snippet based on the context it's in or the situation it's in. I would say power of Lua snip comes from the Lua APIs. You can have all the APIs in your Lua runtime. On top of that, you have Beam APIs like TreeSet and all that stuff. Uh, using all these resources, you can create snippets that's really flexible and really suitable for your context and situation, like I have shown here. Of course, you can define snippets in templates as well. You can also import some templates from other snippet engines. But if you want to go into really, really advanced stuff, then you, you have Lua APIs for creating snippets. So this is just the kickoff video of the series. I will see you in the next video with uh, the installation of Lua Snip and configuration of Lua Snip. So I will see you soon and thanks for watching. Have a nice day.